Hello everyone. Welcome to Azure Talk. I am Sachin Kalia. I hope all of you are doing good. Along with me, my friend Abhishek Matre. Hi Abhishek, how are you doing? Hi Sachin, I am doing good. How are you doing today? Yeah, all good. Thank you. Great to see here. So, yeah. Uh, so we are into the continuation of the last demonstration related to Azure DevOps. So this is a, one of the another demonstration which is all about the Sonar Cube implementation for a .NET Core app. So Abhishek, what is your opinion about this? Yes. How are we about to implement this? Yeah. Today our purpose is to integrate Sonar Cube, which is a uh, analysis tool, third-party analysis tool integration with Azure DevOps. So it is widely accepted as by the organizations and uh, and it is very yes. renowned one. So uh, let's get it started with this. Yeah. Okay, uh, this screen should be very much familiar with you because we have been seeing various number of uh, demonstration on this. So my repository is there which is built upon ASP.NET Core technology. We have already done the pipeline without SonarCube. Today our turn is to create new pipeline with SonarCube. So for that matter, we, I'm going to create a new pipeline. And uh, using the classic editor for my example, uh, my existing project is this one and the master branch. Continue. Okay, before going forward, let me tell you very uh, first, which is you have to configure Sonar Cube project and uh, the organization first. Uh, I have already done it. That's it. That is altogether a separate uh, topic. So I'll not cover that. How to you know uh, create your uh, project and uh, organization here? But just for your understanding, it is created from my end. Now, the thing is, uh, you have to select a particular template how to integrate that with Sonar Crowd. In general practice, we usually use ASP.NET Core, but for, for today's demonstration, we are going to use .NET Core with Sonar Cloud. So applying this template, and if you see that there's a quite resemblance of the uh, ASP.NET Core template, only thing is different. The three different uh, uh, tasks have been added in this. Uh, prepare analysis on Sonar Cloud, run code analysis, and publish quality gate result. And the sequence really matters. So please do not play with the sequence, right? Please do not move sequence here and there. Whatever the sequence is given by uh, default by the template, let it be as is. So we are going to touch base on prepare analysis on Sonar Cloud. In the Sonar Cloud, if you see Sonar Cloud service endpoint, it is asking for this is the uh, endpoint which will connect you to Sonar Cloud. At the time, I have created my organization project in Sonar Cloud. So I just created one connection endpoint there so that I can take this endpoint and connect it with Azure. So that is one. As soon as I click this and uh, just refresh it, I probably will get my organization which I have created in Sonar Cloud. So Azure Talk is my organization name which is there in the Sonar Cloud. I'll tell you there, this is this one. Right, so yeah. that is by default available in this drop down because my connection is successfully validated. For .NET Core projects, we have to choose integrate with MS Build, right? Any of the Microsoft technology, if you are going to uh, build the code, so you have to use integrate uh, with MS Build. Whereas this is for uh, Java, Maven, and Gradle. And if you wanted to do some standalone scanner, that's up to you. I mean, when manual setting. Product key, uh, product key has to be taken from the project where this, uh, you have to go to the project. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, here. Right. Um, project key is this one. My Azure project key. Yes. I'm taking this, pasting here and whatever the project name you wanted to keep it. Example, Sonar, right? And then go to build, you see everything is there. Only one difference is here, it should be .sln file, not the CS browser in general, we see. Test, 
run analysis nothing has to be changed in the run and analysis and uh, publish quality gate only one thing is additionally you have to do which is adding a new task publish artifact publish uh, artifact so publish build artifact what we are looking for is required adding it and that's it if you wanted to make certain change in the artifact name and certain thing uh, that's okay that is up to you but i would recommend it for this demonstration and that's it and now i can what i can do is all settings are done right yes at the last once everything is done we have to look at the pipeline and we go to the pipeline and uh, agent pool has to be set so my azure yes. pipeline pool is always ready to take my load and any of the agent specification you can use i am good to go with ubuntu right and now save and queue this is activated i can very well click on this save and queue you can pass any comment to the pipeline like for example trying sonar q okay and uh, everything i have tested that's okay looks nice and seven run it may take a couple of seconds to execute now my job has started let me click on this job and the various tasks which is basically predefined in uh, the given jobs would be ex start executing it is initializing the see this many number task and uh, you can see how it is going to be executed and the log is ready uh, with all execution points and my task started like prepare analysis on sonar you remember this is the third task we we have actually created yes it analyzes everything yes it is an analyzing and uh, after that it will start building whatever the warnings and everything it is being recorded test is done now this process may take couple of seconds uh, so till then uh, we can wait so we can see all all jobs are successfully executed and we finally got the publish artifact dropped and the post job checkout is also successful so let's it's a time to move to azure uh, sonar cube Sonar. Oh, great! So, what the uh, Azure project and the, what the pipeline we have created for uh, Sonar Cube is now ready, and it has given the good analysis to us. See this example, Sonar. We have taken the name there under the Azure Talk project, and uh, you see my quality gate is passed, and various sections like reliability, security, maintainability, coverage, and everything, and the duplication as well. Very good analysis it has given. just let's understand a uh, couple of things like c is reliability rating for c when there is at least one major bug is found definitely there would have been any major bug that is why it is given this result and a is a rating is when there is no bug found so i mean different sections have different uh, kind of uh, specifications and what the vulnerability found security hotspots everything is in front of you so it is successfully integrated you just uh, Uh, concentrate on your development and the analysis and uh, report building would be done by uh, sonar sonar cube yeah. here so sachin i am done with yeah, the yeah. demonstration yeah there is uh, one addition to uh, abhishek statement as you can see on the top of the screen we have quality gate passed so yeah. you can set as per your need Uh, if i consider an an enterprise application so generally we keep uh, qu quality gate almost 80 or 75% at least uh, the code coverage should be there and all yeah. consider all those factors so ensure that uh, you set a quality gate as per your need and about the sonar cube uh, a bit is like uh, sonar cube it catches the bug and vulnerabilities in your app and it is open source as uh, abhishek has shared already provided by the sonar source yeah. so i believe uh, our viewers uh, would be happy to see how can we implement in an easiest way like abhishek has shared uh, within a couple of minutes you are able to uh, enable this on a entire solution yeah, yeah. i think yeah. this is good
Yeah. So good thing, in fact, it, it also checks the code, not only the code capability, it checks for the duplication and where, what are the vulnerabilities and many other things. I mean, you have seen this on the screen itself. So that's it from my side. Yeah, we should. So guys, uh, as you can see, we have started our Facebook page as well. Uh, you can easily find out with Azure Talk, right? And you can reach me or Abhishek uh, through our channels. And you can reach me through my Twitter handle, which is at .netpiper. You can reach me through my blog, which is www.netpiper.com. And we have uh, initiated our Facebook page. You can drop in queries. You can share your experience with us so that... Uh, if uh, you find any hurdle of any use case, then you can share with us. We will try to bring those into our future demonstration. Yeah, and you can find out uh, easily the Agile Talk uh, group and the Facebook. Uh, this is just given in, web, uh, in the back of my my and Sachin's wall. Uh, sure. You can uh, get the URL directly: https facebookcom groups Talk Global. That is the address. In case you have any difficulties, please leave the message in the videos just uh, anywhere. So we'll definitely get in touch with you. Thanks for the day. Thank you.